Hello, welcome back to Forge Yourself Forward. I'm your host, Mike. One of the things that I have found to be particularly interesting and truly special about having kids is that it can reawaken some of the passions and hobbies that you had maybe as a child or a young adult or maybe even a teenager. And I'm starting to see it with my own boys and it kind of reawakened something in you as it has in me. So what I'm talking about specifically is my boys are six and four and they have suddenly gotten really into Pokemon. And I mean full blown into Pokemon. They have the figures, they're watching the show, they're collecting the cards, they're playing the game. They are fully invested into Pokemon. And it has kind of, in some ways, reawakened in me a passion that I had for it, which is kind of ironic. When Pokemon first came out in around 1996, 1997, I was about 11 or so at the time, and I was into Pokemon. I really enjoyed it. I had gotten the Game Boy game, Pokemon Red, and played through it. It was something I really enjoyed. But as I got older with a lot of things, you kind of start to put certain things by the wayside. You don't necessarily follow them as much, and then you kind of lose all contact with it for decades, as I had. And it's by sheer happenstance, and I guess being a little bit curious, my older son and I were in an Ace Hardware. I was picking up, I couldn't even tell you what it was, and as we're walking by, he sees a display for Pokemon cards. And I think what really caught his eye was the colorful artwork and the really cool looking different animals. Um, some look ferocious, some look cute, some look just bizarre. And it caught his eye. And I'll never forget him looking at me and going, Dad, can, can we get one of these? And I remember looking at it and I stood there for about 10 seconds, kind of dumbfounded, thinking to myself, Pokemon, huh? I can't believe that is still so big. You know, I you see those videos on YouTube now and then, but it was not something I ever clicked on, so I never went down those rabbit holes. And I said to him, sure, why not? You know, let, let's get it. And um, so we get it, he opens it up, and what was really funny, or what I found to be really interesting, is as excited as he was to open it and see what cards he got, I was as excited. I got into it. And it started the, I guess you would call it avalanche of the Pokemon phenomenon in our house, where, you know, he, he likes getting Pokemon cards, he likes playing the games, he likes learning about it, he's got books on it, we read stories about it, and it's really become something that not only he follows, but now I'm interested in it. Every time he gets a pack of cards, I'm sitting there right next to him going, oh, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, did you get that? Wow, good for you! You know, we put them in a, in a booklet, and he collects them, and it's just something that we both have now a passion, something that we share together. And my younger son's jumped in as well, so the three of us are there collecting different Pokemon cards, you know, learning the Pokemon name. At 37, I'm learning new Pokemon names, looking through the book, trying to figure out which one is this or that, and as silly as that sounds, it's actually a lot of fun. And it, it has reawakened something in me that I thought was long since dead which is obviously my love of Pokemon. And what's funny about that is when you open yourself up to those possibilities of what your children could be interested in that might be something that maybe you were interested in at some point or reawaken something, you know, other things start to reawaken as well. The other thing that's been unbelievably funny, and this is something that I could not have foreseen or foretold, is my son's both got into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, if you don't know me, which you probably don't, but I was unbelievably into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was my jam. I was obsessed with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles probably from the age of about four uh, on until I was about, I'd say, 12 or so. I was really into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I used to play the video games. My mom made me a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles costume for one Halloween. I think she spent all night cutting and sewing and putting all the fabric together. It looked amazing. She's got a photo somewhere, I'm sure. And 
I had all the toys. I had seen all the live action movies. I'd seen some of the animated movies. And I was really into it. And that's something that I didn't think about for a while either. And then suddenly, I get home one day and my kids stumbled onto Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on one of the streaming services. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You're, you're into, they're like, yeah, we, we really like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And lo and behold, boom, something else kind of awakens in you or me. And it's all because of your kids' interest, because they're curious. And when they're curious and you're curious, that can really just bring about something that maybe you forgot you even liked in the first place. And it kind of gives you something not only to share with them, but something special. So the point of this video is sometimes as adults we get so wrapped up in what we're doing day to day, whether it's work, trying to balance the house, trying to get all the chores done, trying to do all these things. But sometimes if you slow down and you realize that you know, everyone has different interests and maybe if you are a little curious about their interests or you give them a chance to explore something in terms of an interest, whether it's Pokemon or maybe it's a new sport maybe it's a new hobby, maybe it's cooking, maybe it's whatever, it might reawaken something in you that you thought you had long since said goodbye to that maybe you haven't. It's something to consider. It's something that might make yourself a little bit more well-rounded and bring a new kind of passion or fun to your life. I mean, if you had told me two years ago that I'd be excited to open a pack of Pokemon cards with my son or watch somebody else open a pack of Pokemon cards, or go and watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, I would have told you you're crazy. But let me tell you something. Then I'm the crazy one. Because I'm the one having fun with it. And I'm telling you, you got kids, see what their interests are. See if there's something new. See if there's something that they're interested in. Because it could be something that maybe you were interested as, in as a kid. The apple doesn't usually fall that far from the tree. So, give it a chance. Maybe you both find something you love together that to take you on into the next 10, 20 years. Who knows? Thanks for joining.